If you guys have a spare 50 US dollars and you have a Mac mini, I definitely recommend picking up this budget dock from Amazon. As you guys know, I do a lot of editing and now that I'm primarily editing on a Mac, I need a few more USB ports and of course an SD card reader. The other cool thing about this dock is that it has space for an internal SSD, which is great for expanding the storage of your Mac mini, especially if you just got the base model with only 256 gigabytes of internal storage. I also didn't want to break the bank, so I set myself a budget of around 60 US dollars, and when I came across this particular dock, I had to pull the trigger and check it out. Spoiler, it works great and I'm going to keep using it, so if you guys want to purchase your own, I'll leave a link in the description. So without further ado, let's unbox it and set it up and see how it performs. So let's take it out and let's have a look at what we've got. So as you can see here, it says it's a USB-C hub with hard drive enclosure. And that is the brand there. And on the back, there's not much. So let's take it out of the packaging and we'll see what we've got here. Now this is the space gray color and my particular Mac mini is just a normal silver color. Um, but I don't really mind about the color. I think it's actually going to look quite cool with a different color. So, but um, there it is, as you can see, it's quite small. You can see some of the ports on the side there. And then at the back, it just has a USB-C port and there's the bottom. So this is obviously the, SSD enclosure and if we open this up it has a few bits and pieces so that it looks like a screw and then we've also got a USB-C to USB-C cable so that's going to be how you actually plug it into the back of the Mac mini so what we'll do first of all is we'll try and screw in a SSD here now I have this old Samsung SSD that I haven't used for a while it's only about 250 gigabytes uh, but I will be going to pick up a two terabyte SSD in the near future. So this should technically just slide in here like so. So that is now in there and sitting down. So if I just pop this back on, there are some little holes here for screws. So if you do want to screw that plate down, you can, but I don't really feel the need to do that. So I think that's, pretty much it guys that is the installation process so let's slap this onto the Mac mini and we'll see what we can get okay guys so here we have the Mac mini itself you can see it's the silver version and if we put the dock on top of the Mac you can see there's definitely a difference but honestly guys I actually kind of like the space gray color on the silver uh, I think it gives it quite a cool contrast and now there's two ways this can go so it can either go on the top or it can go on the bottom. Uh, I don't think it really matters, although I'd probably have it on the bottom just because of uh, heat and temperatures. Uh, but I think that there looks pretty good. And now all we've got to do is just plug in the included USB-C to USB-C cable. Um, now this is essentially just going to link the dock to the Mac Mini. So this just plugs in in the back USB-C port. Okay guys, so as you can see, we now have the dock set up with the Mac Mini. Now, if we come into Disk Utility on the Mac, and you can see here under the external section, we can actually see the SSD. So what we'll do now is we'll go into the computer screen and I'll set it up from there. Okay guys, so you can see here we have a 250 gigabyte external physical volume, uh, which is currently in the Windows file system. So this is the SSD we put into the dock. Now bear in mind guys, this is just an SSD I had laying around. I'm gonna go out and get a two terabyte SSD shortly to actually use. Um, so what we're gonna do first of all though, is we're going to erase this SSD. Uh, we're going to call it dock SSD or whatever you want. And we're gonna change it to the Apple file system. So that's gonna work very well with the Mac. And we're going to erase. And as you can see there, that process was successful and we can actually see it up in the corner there. So there's absolutely no issues with that at the moment and we have the full 249 gigabytes free. So what we'll do now is we'll come and do a Blackmagic speed test 
and we'll see what kind of speeds we're getting with this dock and the SSD. So let's select the target drive, let's select the dock SSD, and let's start. So as you guys can see there, we're getting around 285 megabytes per second uh, write speed, and the read speed should be around the same as well, about 270 to 280. Uh, at the moment, it's coming back at 315. And as you can see a little bit further down here, this is going to be totally fine for reading and writing almost any type of file or footage that you have. So you can do pretty much anything except from some of the 4K 60 FPS cinema raw files or the 10 bit YUV codecs. So these types of files are very, very large and very, very detailed. 99% of people will never even see one. Um, and if you are the type of person that does do a lot of editing in Cinema Raw or 10-bit YUV, you're probably not going to be using just a normal SSD. You'll have some kind of Thunderbolt enclosure that does like 2 terabytes per second transfer rate or something like that. But as we can see there, guys, like for a very, very cheap budget price, we can instantly expand the storage on the Mac for almost no money. And we're getting very respectable read and write speeds. Now, if we plug in an SD card, let's see if this works. So it's actually got a nice click when you push it in just to make sure that it's sitting correctly. And as we can see here, guys, that SD card has come up straight away with absolutely no issues. And if we open it up, you can see all of my files, all of my images there, absolutely no issues at all. So guys, I've been playing around with the dock for a little while now. I have to say I am very, very impressed with it. I've had no issues, no connectivity issues. It doesn't seem to get warm or anything like that. None of the drives disconnect either. As you can see on the front, there are plenty of ports for connection. There's several USB 3.0 ports, a couple of USB 2.0 ports. And the important thing for me was that it had a micro SD card and also a full sized SD card. Cause it's very easy for me just to plug in my SD card and just dump all of my footage onto the computer whenever I'm finished doing a video. But uh, yeah, apart from that guy, I was very, very happy with it. It was a really, really budget option as well. And it looks great. Um, if you guys can, you can get the silver version. Although personally, I actually like the space gray version of the dock with the silver Mac mini. I think it looks really cool. It's got a nice contrast. But uh, again, guys, I'll link that in the description. Definitely do check it out if you're after a dock with some kind of expanded storage. Apart from that, guys, hope you found this video interesting. I will be doing more videos on these Mac accessories, so stay tuned. Apart from that, I'll catch you in the next one.